Hello! Hi, friends. Welcome uh, back to um, to Tiddlywink. Yes, I have Trooper with me today. Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you? We are unfortunately only uh, two people today. Uh, we lost Floss. Somewhere. She'll turn up. She'll turn up. Somewhere. Yep. Someday she she'll <laughs> she'll get back. She'll get back. Um, but so uh, today you just have to. Uh, yeah. It's only it's, it's me and Pooper you guys get. That's what it is. So, I mean, they said maybe this is an advert. She'll see this pop up on the YouTube recommendations and return. Yeah, and then maybe she'll keep be like, ah, oh, you record without me, guys. Yeah, exactly. And then we'll be like, yeah. And, oh. she, and then she'll leave for good. I'm Straight sure. away, I really like this little like, um, like the lower spike to keep him away from the wall. Yes, I thought that was kind of. Straight away. Big yep. fan of that. Hey, great, great. Yeah, <laughs> so, so uh, we had this conversation uh, in our little Discord group and stuff. I don't know if we mentioned it last time, but we kind of wanted this opening, like this sort of pond here, as, as it became, um, to be filled with some animals now. So I was like, what if we first we started with flamingos? So then I was like, what if the hippos too? And you like that idea. Oh, yeah. Hippos are one of my favorites, and I, I think first time oh, we started with hippos, and then Floss was like, "Yeah, but whenever you walk into a British zoo, it's flamingos." Right. And then, and then of course you messaged me and go, "Well, don't they get on?" And I was like, "Yeah, they they get rich each other actually, so why not both?" It's a huge lake, so. Yeah, exactly. I remember I remember uh, her mentioning that too, um, and. So I was like, you know what? That's what we're gonna do here. I had a lot of other thoughts of what I wanted to do at first, um, but I was like, if it is the hippos, I know they do like uh, a lot of space. Kind of like the, the polar bears, not so much though, but they uh, they do like the space, right? So I was like, you know what? Let's just make this entire thing uh, for hippos and for flamingos, and then just make a little uh, nice shelter for them at the end, which I will also do. I am actually going, all the way in here with what I would like to say realistic trying to at least keep it that way and it's not usually my go-to thing so uh, but I feel like uh, what I do end up doing as you guys will see here later on in the video I'm I'm okay with it I'm okay with it it's a, it's a good start on 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 stuff yes <laughs> I mean, at the basis of it, it's a pond. We can only do so much with it, can't you? <laughs> yeah, and like the thing I do here is obviously making the entire like uh, uh, pond, uh, like canal, whatever we call here, barrier vibe all the way around it. Uh, and as you say, like I'm not completely decorating the entire habitat today. It's mainly the the shelter for uh, for the hippos uh, and flamingos. I kind of kind of work a lot on. But you'll see why, guys. You'll see why. You maybe saw in the, in the cinematics as well. It was smart to uh, make this kind of a blueprint that you can place all the way around in sections instead of hand building it, like I would have done and regretted about halfway through. Yeah, it's usually how it goes, isn't it? Mm. I am like, I don't know. Even though I've been building for so long time, I always feel like I always take the long, like sometimes the longer way, like. Yeah through things and I don't know what I don't know if it's just if it's just the habit of doing things just getting used to doing things by myself you know like in these games that it's just like come up naturally for you I don't know but yeah. the zoo is always evolving <clears throat> so the problem with zoo is that you get used to doing one thing and then they just release a part that you can use instead oh like making like so you can make hobbit houses yeah yeah exactly like hobbit houses like the <laughs> DLC they just released the Lord of the Rings one yeah, yeah, the, the Lord of the Rings uh, <laughs> pack, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, little joke there, guys, in, in, in our Discord here. Mm, that, that pond is salty now, it's the Red Sea. It is, it's, oh, doesn't like it, doesn't like it. But then I was, I had this sort of, uh, after I made this around the entire uh, pond here, I was like, I need to have, we need to have some sort of a composition, we need to have some sort of, like when you come through the gateway, like through the gate, you need to have something cool happening, right? And now I know we're gonna have some taller buildings, maybe some towers and stuff in the back here as well. So I'm not really uh, nervous about the, like, uh, the depth and how things are gonna look and stuff, because there's still a long way to go, right? And 
It's always nice to start like uh, with smaller buildings and then you can build upwards, you know? And we also yeah. already have the towers in the entrance, which really does a nice peak when you look uh, from the back to, to, to it from the, the, the hippo habitat here. We're still at that awkward stage where whenever you build a building and put it down, it's just sat in the middle of a field and it looks really weird. I had, you, yeah. You gotta sorry. stop yourself and go, you know, there will be stuff around this one day and it'll all look complete. I, I so agree with you, dude, because after I built this, I was like, why does this look so weird to me? It's like yeah. my reptile house. So I look at my reptile house and I have to keep saying to myself, right, it'll have big trees around it and it'll have other buildings scattered around it and it'll disappear in the skyline a bit. Right now it's just, you look on the other side and there's this massive stone building sat there for nothing like. like you gotta kind of pre-imagine what it's gonna look like to keep you going. Exactly, exactly. And I, I honestly, I think when it comes to like just realism and like just trying to build something in that case, it's, I maybe it's because it's kind of, because you still have to detail it in that way of being realistic, right? So it's very like, it's like I wrote to you on Discord, like what I like about realism though, is that you don't have to add like all the freaking detailing as I do on my fantasy builds and like on my, you know, like all those other kind of builds I do, steampunk builds, etc. because they have to like scream of fantasy, right? Where this is literally so generic as it can be, like. Well, I mean, you know, you look at zoos and there's, there's certain things they put effort in. So they'll put like, um, Obviously, you get things like bug houses and, and primate houses, and they're big, like, oh, they make a big spectacle of it. But when you go to places like, you know, stable areas and hippos and stuff like that, they literally just build a building that works. It's never yeah. pretty, you know? Pretty much, pretty much. So, so it's a concrete rectangle that, you know, yeah. the hippo, because the hippos don't spend much time in them anyway. They're just there to sleep and keep out the warm, you know? Yeah, and I was not, I was not entire, I mean, feel free, like, if, if you, in any case, like, come up with, like, another color scheme for this, or I don't know, we can always change it, I guess, but I just feel like these, like, sort of darker tones towards uh, all the bright tones we've had kind of yeah. makes a good match, especially when we add some more foliage and stuff around, and like we oh, talked nice. about, we wanted to, like, make this, like, sort of an open plaza with a pond, right, so we build yeah. stuff around. But say I've you know having been to loads of zoos and seen hippos, they never get nice houses. They get very basic, you know, because they know the hippos won't even spend that much time in them, you know. Yeah, I mean the Copenhagen Zoo, they have like what like such a cool uh, habitat, right? But what they sleep in and like when they go in and stuff, it's just like a concrete building almost, right? But it's buried, so you don't really see it, right? But it's still. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it, obviously hippos is actually really dangerous animals as well so it's not like they have to make them walk through for guests or they're literally somewhere just to put the hippo at night you know mm -hmm. yeah that's true but so yeah, it works. yeah so here i was kind of like trying to get like a sort of different you know like just more of a more i guess hygienic like a tiled kind of wall yeah you know I, would, I just wanted to see how it would work first and then afterwards when i had it like all the way around i was like that kind of works. Um, it's easier to spray the uh, hippo shit off with the hose after, isn't it? Exactly. That's what I was thinking about, right? So uh, no, we know they no, they do crap a lot, and when they do, it's oh, it's it's, it's fancy. It's a uh, it's a freaking uh, waterfall. Almost. You don't want to be getting it's that out of the cracks. No, like, you, you know, know, right? So you just want to wipe straight down into the drain. And my inspiration sort of came from, uh, I was looking at a little bit of, uh, of, of, of zoo pictures. Yeah, I was actually looking at, at realistic sort of shelters and stuff because my brain don't go that far, okay? No, but I, I went in and I looked uh, stuff and I was like, I couldn't really find anything like that was actually talking to me. And I was like, this works, this works. But then I was like, found something on like, I don't know what it was called, zoopix.com or something. I don't know. It was... Um, Seems to work. There's like legit so many cool. Uh, there was did every every all kind of pictures from zoos in there. Literally habitats, enclosures. Literally every zoo. Never found, but found a very. Yeah, I'll post the link in the in the description, guys, if you want to check it out yourself. But yeah, Probably. then I then I found something like uh, was what uh, from Antwerp or something. Like, I don't know exactly about Antwerp and Zoo or something where they have these hippos going up against the ramp from the water. Yeah. Uh, where, but it does feel like though that it's more of a you can actually look at them from in there to see them walk up 
But here I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna make this like completely closed um, for the hippos and only for the for the people, right? And then I made, as you can see, I made these small little uh, windows from the outside so people can actually look into them as well. Uh, see them sleep and, and stuff like that. Yeah, because I was gonna say, the problem is when you look at, um, when you look for zoo references as well, people only take pictures generally of the pretty stuff. Yes. Like, you won't get the like proper grubby behind the scenes things, you know? So yeah, I, yeah. So I was very happy to uh, to could find a picture like that because I was kind of vibing with sort of like this. As I said, I was in Copenhagen Zoo uh, some months back, uh, or no, two months back, I guess. It, no, it's not that long ago. But I was there. There also will be a vlog about that, by the way. But when I was there, I kind of took some notes and stuff, looked around and looked how does it all work, and I saw some like there were like some sort of habitats, like the shelters where they were all of, like gated in and. Yeah, it worked really well though. I liked it. So, I'll well, stay. When I, in Bristol Zoo, which is really close to me, they used to have a pygmy hippo there. Okay. And, and the pygmy hippo, the, the, this really bizarre habitat where this house, you know, the pygmy hippo's house, the back windows on the thing have actually, that's where the pond is, is in this house. So, you look in through the back window and you look over the pond and you see all this backstage stuff. And, um, and that's when you sent me pictures of this cage thing. That's the first thing I thought of was all these little, like, caged off areas so the keepers can walk around throughout the hippos without being, because of course they're very aggressive. Yes, exactly. And um, and and the say because that is yeah, we really weird layout it was there where you looked through the backstage to see the habitat. So um, yeah, like as soon as you put a picture up and, it, and this fencing was here, the, the inner gate, I was like, that's perfect. That's exactly what I remember it looking like. Yeah, I thought that was kind of cool too. Because um, you see it, I remember seeing them feed it once, and what they do is they literally <clears throat> open one gate, put the food in, close that gate, and then open the hippo gate, so they never, like, are next to the hippos. Uh, and that's why they're all so gated-like, and it, just, it looks perfect. Yeah, well, I'm glad that we sort of had the same sort of thought uh, around this. Uh, makes it makes it a lot easier uh, to continue with it when I send it to you. Um, yeah. So... So that's nice. And now we've got all those new uh, backstage uh, pieces and stuff. So I'm also making like a little, little, um, how do you say? Yeah, I guess a little room here that is also enclosed in. You'll see it in a sec where I'm trying like trying to figure out what kind of stuff would they uh, need. I might probably gonna make a little um, desk or like a little workshop bench or something in there as well. I didn't get to do that, but it'll be next time. Like as I said, this is, I feel like this was not for like a video and was not too to be presentable, at least for the interior wise, right? And then next time, maybe uh, when uh, Trooper also made something, I can go in and we can maybe connect something so we get a little section, a little area maybe prepared for you guys. That would be cool. Yeah, because yeah, we were talking before, weren't we, on Discord, that <clears throat> around this lake, it's all very narrow ground. So as soon as you put a building down and connect it with gardens, you've done a, a chunk of zoo. Yes, exactly. It's not like, you don't have to fill the middle. The middle's there, it's a big lake. Um, so like this little garden thing you do in here, put some of them around between, say right now I've got obviously the entrance and the and the reptile house. There's not gonna be a lot of buildings there. It's, you know, put some garden there and all of a sudden you've done that third of the pond, you know? Yes, exactly. I really like this, what you're doing by the way, where it's just a bit different. Yeah, I was like, you know what, just, just try and try add it up some, some different textures and you know, it is a zoo, right? So we can have a little bit of that wild wild stuff going on yeah so as you can see the pond is pretty big right so we obviously need, maybe need some more flamingos i don't think i had so many flamingos but i do have a few but of course with some more rocks around some more foliage here and there and there'll be there'll be much to see and because we already have uh, flosses penguin under water viewing and some parts in the uh, in troopers reptile house there's like a little bit of that vibe too i feel like the hippos didn't need it need a section like that since they have just this open open area. I don't, don't really think I've often seen it anyway with hippos underwater viewing. We have in the Copenhagen Zoo actually. Oh dear? Yeah. Oh, there you go. They made like a, a super cool habitat for them that way for like uh, eh, recently yeah. recently I mean still a few years back but it's really yeah. cool but when Mia Sparkle was there the hippo was not there to, you couldn't see them unfortunately. So. Uh, yeah, I've never seen that before but I guess yeah Things are different now, especially the kind of glass they can make and stuff, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I'll uh, when the block when I finally finish the block, uh, 
should take a look at it and take it out. It's uh, some really cool habitats they have in Copenhagen Zoo. I was actually quite surprised after they renovated it and stuff like that. Yeah. Super cool. Good, good inspiration for this. Oh, it, well, 100%, dude, 100%. Also, like with the meerkats, they had such a cool meerkats habitat. It was literally yeah. mixed with the, like, literally, they could literally go into, like, the rhinos, uh, was it giraffes, there were uh, ostriches, there were so many that just shared a habitat together. But they, 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 they cut it up around, like, with big uh, uh, chunks of wood some places, so, for example, the rhinos couldn't walk through, but all the other animals could and stuff. Um, That's smart. Yeah. I think this, this is the first exhibit I've ever seen you make where it works straight away. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh, except for here. There's just this section here where the hippos were too thick to get through here. As you can see, I'm trying to fix it. Uh, but that's not the worst thing, you know, it's, it's a little bit, but usually you usually put your animals in and there's just one bit of blue outside the gate. Yep, it was, uh, I was actually, wow, man. Good job. I, I learned <laughs> Good job. From, I learned from my mistakes. I like gave myself a shoulder pad. It only took three years. We got there. Yeah, we got it. Imagine what I can do in three other years, man. Damn. Holy shit, man. So, so yeah, I'm just as I say here now, just dressing up a bit the entire habitat here. Just trying to add a little bit of thing on it, a little bit of greenery, you know. Um, as I say, the habitat is not completely full. Uh, I was mainly focused on the inside as well, as I said. And then sort of just get the, the vibe of the whole pond area so we can sort of like get that established, you know. Yeah. But yes, I like as well that instead of making it look like Britain, you've tried to make it look like Africa, you know, a little bit of, little slice of Africa in there. Yeah, because it's a low budget, the zoo, right? So, I mean, they have to like, a lot of dirt and shit, and then some places, yeah, we can do a little bit. <laughs> a little theme in. And I know that also something I wanted to say, like, I know I have all the moss and stuff, like, the exact same moss and decal on the on the outer path, like the, the canal sort of thing, the, the walls. But that's obviously something that I will change with time, so you don't see the freaking same texture all the way around. Because I already moved some of them from some of it. Uh, but yeah, it's not something that really catches the eye so much. But just it's a, fixable later. Yeah, just a little, just a little thing, thing. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to like you know make sure that uh, the habitat is kind of nicely enclosed in, and the the keepers can go in and out carelessly. Uh, without being in in any way of the custom or the guests and stuff, or at or least like that. Or mauled by the hippos. What now? Or mauled by the hippos. Yes, that too. That too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, I, uh, I really like though that <clears throat> you've had the foresight to put the hippo den to the left so that you still get a straight view if we do anything behind it, you know? Yes, exactly. Oh man, it looks so good already with the entrance and then your reptile building, like just being the, the skyline behind here. It's a, uh, you'll see some cinematics of that at the end though. It's, uh, it's really, really cool. And my God, I love these fence pieces, dude. They're amazing. Yeah. I use them all the time for projects. I, I really get to like actually enjoy all these pieces here now because I'm actually building what the game is made for. Do you know what I mean? Well, especially with the conservation pack that's just come out. I mean, this is what it's for backstage. Exactly. It's uh, it's really dope. I don't know exactly how this would work or if it actually should be a taller gate. Let me know. Uh, or if you maybe know or people in the comments can say. But I was just like, I don't know. So I just made a little gate so it was just noticeable, I guess. Because um, this is here where I'm making uh, for all the keepers where they can keep up their stuff. Like a little storage room for the hippos, etc. Some food and... All that uh, fancy schmancy stuff, right? And feel free, Pooper, if uh, you want to copy, uh, duplicate this uh, uh, little shelf thing I'm doing here for future. Already eyeing it up. For, for future use, uh, feel free to do so. No, I'm just saying, you know, like it's just. Uh... I was already ready to steal it, don't worry. All right, all right. I think, <laughs> I, think I did make it a, a full elite. I'm fighting here, I'm fighting with it. You can see. <laughs> fighting it! Can he do it? Yeah. And that's fast forward as well. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so yeah, so this is just what I'm doing here, so I can slowly add uh, all the the new cool pieces we got uh, to uh, to like be in the storage kind of vibe here. It reminds me a lot of the pictures they released for the DLC as well. That's what they did, didn't they? they had all these shelves they'd made. Yeah, I actually <laughs> thought we had shelves. So I looked for like for like two minutes after them. I was like, wait, we didn't get any? Huh? I have to make them myself. God damn. It. That's bizarre, isn't it? Considering it was in all the screenshots that they had. Right? I was like, hmm, weird. 
But I guess they made them custom there as well. They were actually yeah. being creative. Anyways, so yeah, here I'm just like adding a little bit, as I said, storage room. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what and can't. Like, I was just placing stuff, you know, the good old clutter. Um, just figuring out uh, how that would look. And then there's... Actually, yeah. I don't know if you knew they love watermelon. Yeah, I know, because they have like a, a, a food enrichment that is a melon, right, as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they, eat, they eat watermelon. It was, it was really fun watching them eat it. <laughs> And look at all these extra things. There's even a switch, right? There is like, god damn, dude. Detail. I, I know. What's happening? The, hook. the hooks are new, aren't they? Yeah, the hooks are new and all that other stuff. So yeah, I'm just uh, vibing here at the end, placing the last clutter before I, I'm kind of finishing it. And then we are slowly moving towards uh, the, the last cinematics and we have here. But I'm slowly kind of like liking how this interior of uh, the whole shelter is, uh, is turning out uh, even adding light lamps and like what's happening you know and i really like when you look outside from the windows that it really looks cool i like what you see when you look inside but like it's really i think cool. it's a good um it's a good base this room as well for all the other backstages it like sets the tone yeah exactly it's um, like like little vents and things like that on the floor and yeah i was like I know it's a pen, but it could also be for like when they wash it, right? So all the water can have a, drain, yeah, exactly. have a drainage to. Uh... I think I think that's what they are. I think they're also drainage. They look more like drainage vents to me than yeah. anything else. Yeah, it's just because they're like just cold vents. So I guess it, it works yeah. in, in both ways. So uh, we are at the last end here. I'm not really doing a lot here. I'm just trying to like I was I kind of wanted like a little um, elevation between these two paths here, as you can see here, where this one is a little bit more higher than the other one. Uh, so I was just trying to like make a cool flower uh, sort of bed that, that could kind of like surround this so it feels like you're going a little bit above so that way on the left is completely different you know as you can yeah, see yeah. here just to get a little bit because I, I know a lot of zoos they like that they have a lot of different levels and stuff with pathing and like it's it's really nice how you can make that mingle with each other um, yeah, and especially using those big curves kind of smooth that out in the middle as well then exactly exactly so this is uh, this is like something I make like half half done. It's not. I'm just adding this and then the three trees, I guess, uh, and then I'm just kind of like stopping it for now, and then uh, you'll get some cinematics, friends. Yes, that was uh, 20 minutes, my guy. Yes. Yes. So, and you're gonna be building in it next time. Yeah, like I said, at about end of the the mid end of this month, I'll go in and. Uh... I don't know whether or not I'm going to tweak the bug house or whether I'd like to, I think I was talking to you about it, I'd like to <clears throat> start linking your your hippo pen yes. with the entrance using a food kind of court area. Ooh, I haven't cool. decided yet, I'm thinking about it. All right. <laughs> I got got ideas for both. So uh, yeah, that'd be cool, that'll be the next update then. Like I said, it's just nice that everything we're placing around this lake is linking it, linking it, linking it. Oh, that's yeah. a good shot. Right, there? look at this shot now, this was the shot I'm talking about, looking through the window now, completely just like... Coincidental, right? Yes. Good. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Iconic hippo poop. Uh, oh I my know, god. Right? It's Everywhere. it's it's getting clean for the last shot. Don't worry. But guys, uh, let us know down below what you think of it all, and uh, we hope to see you guys next time in uh, the next uh, tiddly wait. Look at this shot here too, right? Just perfect. But uh, well, yeah, guys, uh, Pooper, thanks for joining me as always, and I'm um, looking forward to see uh, what we do next time. Yes. Okay, peeps, and maybe Floss will return. Who knows? Bye bye. Aren't you saying bye? I already said bye. I said bye before you. Wow, it didn't. It didn't record that. Oh.